So anyways, it's day 64 of the road's 200 pounds. 64 days ago, I decided, enough with the Big Macs, man. Jeez, get that ice cream out your mouth. Hey, you guys, so I'm breaking my fast today with, uh, with a uh, filet of salmon and some Asian Melody vegetables. Um, been kind of beating myself up that I haven't been showing this kind of stuff. So here it is. Uh, here's my dinner to break my fast today. Hey, you guys, so I keep uh, forgetting to show you um, these two things. I bought these at the Dollar Tree. Thought I'd try them. I really like the Louisiana Supreme hot sauce. Um, I grew up with uh, Tabasco sauce. Uh, but I actually uh, almost like this better and it was a dollar at the Dollar Tree um, The chicken wing sauce is, is pretty good, too. Uh, I'll definitely utilize that um, This Walden Farms ketchup I got uh, this wasn't at the Dollar Tree, but <clears throat> I at least I don't think so I can't remember No, I, I'm pretty sure that wasn't at the Dollar Tree, but anyways I bought this because uh, It's got only zero calories whereas my Heinz zero sugar uh, has uh, one one carb um, but this one has zero carbs uh, so uh, I wanted to try that out now I like it it tastes good it's very very runny it's like extremely watery so um, there's only gonna be certain things I can use that for I do like it though so uh, I'll think of something to use that for, um, but it's really watery, so um, I'll probably in the future end up just sticking with my my Heinz, but uh, it's good stuff. you guys it's time for me to uh, do what I said I was gonna do and I really do not want to do this uh, I really don't want to do this but uh that's exactly why I'm doing it um, if I didn't mind doing it then I wouldn't be stepping out of my comfort zone now would I I really don't want to do this <laughs> All right, let's 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 just get to it. All right, <clears throat> let's get it over with. Oh, 50. Oh, what have you gotten yourself into? All right, let's just do it. I knew 50 was going to be hard for me. I didn't realize it would be this hard, which is good. But I thought I'd at least be able to do all 50 in a row without stopping. But I need a minute. Whew. All right, let's get these over with. Uh, come on. Come on. Ten more. Let's go. That about killed me, but it feels great that I got it done and I got through it. Oh. Oh. 
Hold on. Woo! That's definitely out of my comfort zone. That's for damn sure. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's get right into it. All right, so a few people have jumped on board. They want to push themselves. They want to push their limits. They want to step out of their comfort zone. First is Mika Fasting Weight Loss. Uh, the I before the E, you know, like uh, you learned in school. But I keep putting the E in front of the I because, you know, I didn't do well in school. So that's my excuse. Erica T. She's doing it too. She's, uh, she's going to walk a minimum of an hour per day, which is great. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, she's recovering from a surgery. So... Uh, that's, <clears throat> that's about all she do, but walking is a great way to do it anyways. Uh, uh, big Jim, uh, he's gonna, the, the guy, the guy in the challenge, he's gonna, uh, do 50 setups a day for five days. He's starting on the seventh because he's in Australia. So, um, uh, a lot of us and, uh, a lot of his subscribers and everything, they're in America. So, uh, he's, uh, he'll, he'll kind of try to tailor, uh, some of his stuff to, uh, to our, our time schedule. Um, he converts like, uh, his, uh, his, his weight unit, uh, I forget what it's called, kilogram or something, uh, kilos. He'll, he'll convert it to pounds, uh, so that the people watching him don't have to go and calculate and stuff. Uh, I think that's kind of neat, uh. He thinks of other people like that, you know, and, uh, anyways, life with love, uh, she is, uh, changing up her routine, um, and trying intermittent fasting for the next five days. And then there's a couple more people, uh, where I didn't get a definitive answer if they were going to do it or not. Uh, so we'll be waiting on those and, uh, I'll, uh, announce them in the next video. Um, or I might do, uh, a live stream uh bike and chat or something later i don't know i've got a lot planned for today because uh yesterday <clears throat> um you know i i i was gonna i was gonna go all gung-ho and get get a bunch of stuff done a bunch of stuff accomplished hit a bunch of exercise i actually started to do uh some uh like uh well what do you call it um yeah i forget what you call it but where you go really hard for like a minute and then you then you go a little softer for a minute and you know what I'm talking about. I can't think of it right now. I started doing that yesterday, burned about 550 calories doing that and everything. Uh, but then I, I realized, you know, you should take at least one day to chill out, relax, especially with these new jobs and everything. Uh, I'm doing these new jobs. I'm trying to still get out of daily video. I'm doing exercise because of my weight loss journey. Uh, the weight loss journey is, is, uh, more, most important, you know, and I was like, you need to take one day to rest. So I made myself chill out yesterday. So <clears throat> I'm trying to accomplish everything today. Um, got to get some laundry done, all kinds of stuff. Anyways, you don't want to hear about that. <clears throat> We're here for weight loss, weight loss journey. You don't want to hear about that. All right. So today, <coughs> <coughs> oh, that's where, uh, that's where you know you worked hard when your <clears throat> when your chest is raw and you can feel how hard you were breathing you can actually feel it like your lungs are sore I love that cuz uh you know you that's a great indicator that you worked hard but anyways so my previous weight yesterday was 272.4 uh, today is 271.6. That's the difference of 0.8 pounds. Now, I thought it'd be a little bit more than that, um, but, you know, uh, taking into consideration that although I did fast, so that's why I kind of figured it'd be a little higher, but uh, I did rest uh, most of the day. I, you know, I did that bike workout, but I was like, you, you need to have one rest day a week at least, dude. So... Uh, you know, I'm so gung-ho right now that I need to rem remind myself uh, that it's important to chill out, too. Um, <clears throat> but I'm just so motivated, and I hope that uh, that doesn't dwindle away anytime soon, because 
uh, I'm really liking, I'm really liking the new me, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, difference of 0.8 pounds, I'll take it, you know, it was a rest day, you know, I did intermittent, or I did a fast, excuse me, but, uh, you know, I was resting most of the day. So, 8.8 .8 pounds lost out of 29 in the big gym challenge. <coughs> well, so... If you haven't uh, checked these guys out uh, that are in the Big Gym Challenge, uh, please go check them out. Uh, this is a difficult challenge. Uh, you know, they need all the support they can get. Uh, let them know that you're backing them. Uh, you think what they're doing is great. Uh, it's great to challenge yourself. Go let them know that you got their back. Their links are down in the description. Um, at least half of these people, I haven't like counted or anything, at least half of these people are down there in weight. Uh, they're like, you know, maybe maybe 20, maybe 30 pounds uh, away from an ideal weight. So uh, it's a lot harder for them than it is for like me. Um, that's why I'm pushing myself that much harder because I'm inspired by these guys that uh, I feel. Some people think that uh, if, if it's a percentage, then it's fair. It's equal across, across the board. But I don't know about that. I think that when you get down so close to... Uh, an ideal weight then it, it it gets that much harder I just really feel that way <clears throat> you know I, I really think that that's the case so I'm inspired by them that uh, it's harder for them than it is for like a guy like me who still has a lot of weight to lose so uh, that's inspiring me to push myself even more and uh, so <clears throat> go support these guys uh, they're killing it um, you know uh, there's a lot of a lot of them that are that are <coughs> right uh right equal with uh my progress uh they're having just as much progress as me and i know how hard i'm working so i know that they're working just as hard and uh i couldn't be more proud i i, I it makes me so happy that we're all in it we're all serious we all want to get this done <clears throat> we're all gonna reach our goals we're gonna get stuff accomplished in 2019 so that just makes me really happy so anyways, it's day 64 of the road's 200 pounds. 64 days ago, I decided, enough with the Big Macs, man! Jeez, get that ice cream out your mouth! Uh, so it's day six of the Big Gym Challenge. Uh, it's almost been a week. <clears throat> I, uh, You know, everybody that I've watched has been doing really good. Uh, so I'm really excited about this challenge. I'm really excited to see the end. I'm really excited to see the results. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be great, guys. Uh <coughs> Oh, oh, today is weekly stats day. I didn't even think about that. I, I had forgotten that uh, last week I did that uh, water drop thing to uh, get rid of the excess sodium and everything like that. And uh, so my weight ended up <clears throat> being way lower than uh, it actually would have been uh, had I not had the excess sodium and been holding on to water and all that. So uh, I forgot about that. <coughs> So my weight ended up being <clears throat> much lower uh, than it actually should have been. So it only reflects 1.6 pounds loss. However, if you look at my, my fat percent, 34.1% <clears throat> and 35.7%. So that's, uh, <clears throat> that's uh, let's see, one, that's... That's almost a percent. So that's around uh, a li little below like three three pounds loss of pure fat. Um, <clears throat> so that's really good because they say that you should lose two pounds a week. Now, if you didn't know, uh, when, when they say uh, you should lose two pounds a week, when they say 3,500 calories equals a pound of fat, you know, when they say this stuff like that, they're talking about a pound of actual fat. Okay, <clears throat> so don't be alarmed if you're uh, if you're losing uh, ten pounds in in a, in a week or whatever. Don't be alarmed that you're doing too much. They're talking about a pound of actual fat. That's why I think it's uh, important to measure your fat percent if you can. Uh, if you if you have a device to measure it or uh, you you have the option to buy one. Uh, I think it's uh, very important to do that because uh, you want to know 
<clears throat> what you're losing in actual fat, because that's what they're actually referring to is, is actual fat lost, okay? So you could lose 10 pounds in a week, but you're actually only losing uh, two pounds of fat, okay? Um, also, <clears throat> I shouldn't be alarmed well, and, and it's, it's, I think it's, uh, if I'm doing my math correctly, it's around like 2.7 pounds. <clears throat> so it's really not much more than two pounds that I lost this week in, in pure fat. Um, <clears throat> but if you're le losing three, four pounds of, of pure fat in a week and you're, you're a real heavy person, th that's normal. Okay. <clears throat> but if you're down, uh, closer to your ideal weight, um, and you're losing more than two two pounds, uh, you you might want to <coughs> you might consider backing it up a little bit unless you're in a challenge. Um, <coughs> but you know people people are 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 very worried about uh, you know having too much loose skin and uh, you know uh, stuff like that. Uh, you know maybe even health issues. You know people. <clears throat> tend to be like, oh, I lost, uh, I lost way more than, than, than two pounds this week, you know, but they don't realize that it's, it's, uh, actual fat pounds lost. <clears throat> so they get alarmed that they're doing too much and everything like that. And so, uh, that's another reason why I think it's important to measure your body fat percent. Uh, so, <clears throat> um, anyways, also with the loose skin thing, uh, you know, yeah, losing weight lower or, uh, uh, at a slower rate may, um, alleviate, uh, a, a large excess. You may get more loose skin the faster you lose weight, but the fact of the matter is, is that no matter what, you're going to have loose skin. Unless you're going to lose weight just as slow as you put it on then you're gonna have loose skin. I'm sorry, you're gonna have it. So, uh, you know, that's something to think about. You know, don't, I, I personally am not gonna tiptoe uh, with my weight loss unless it uh, is, is a health concern or something. Uh, but as far as like stuff like loose skin and stuff, I'm gonna have loose skin no matter what. So I'm not gonna tiptoe around it and try to uh, prevent uh, a little bit of loose skin that uh, I may prevent from losing slower. I'm gonna have loose skin anyways. So if I have just a little bit more than I than I would have had I gone slower, I'm, I'm not really gonna be too concerned about that. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> you do you. I'm just I'm just reflecting off of myself and uh, how I feel about it. Um, but yeah, uh, that's that's a that's an interesting thing that I didn't know until I uh, researched it enough and uh, realized. <clears throat> I can't remember who it was. That I, uh, what it was a doctor, but I can't remember who it was that uh, revealed that it was actual fat uh, pounds, which makes a lot of sense. But um, I mean, everything kind of clicked for for me when I realized that. Uh, but yeah, um, we just kind of automatically assume that it's the, the pounds lost you see on the scale, and it's not. So anyways, I'm done rambling, you guys. Uh, <clears throat> that's it for today's video. I need to go get some stuff accomplished. I might do a uh, live biking chat later. Um, who knows if I can uh, fit it in, because i got a lot to do today. So that's it for today. Love you guys. Have a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow.